Hey, how's it going? This is Rich coming at you from Myrtle Beach from True Budget EDC. Lose your gear or use your gear because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. There's no reason to have it, right? So today I'm going to go over a pouch that I got, and it's an EDC pouch, and I'm not an EDC pouch type of person, but I was online looking for things to put some, uh, you know, just some stuff in here, some EDC things um, for travel, because uh, I do have bags that I could bring my knives and stuff in, but they hold entirely too many things. Like I have one bag that holds 36 knives, and one, you know, that holds 24 knives, and it's just too much, they're too big. I have a roll up and a bag, and I just, I don't need something that big. And, um, yeah, there's no reason to carry that much stuff with you, seriously, because I'm, you know, the minimalist guy, and I don't carry only what I need. So, I picked up a uh, small EDC pouch um, from Gondek EDC to carry, you know, a little bit of stuff that I need with me when I travel. So, um, I don't put it in my pocket. I don't carry it around with me on a daily basis. That's not what the whole purpose was for. It was for me, when I travel, to, you know, have something to put a few things in so the stuff's not banging around in a bag somewhere like in my uh, my Nike bag because I carry a Nike double bag I don't use uh, you know uh, like suitcases or anything like that I'm blacked out there I couldn't think of a working suitcase <laughs> but uh, yeah so I would even note about Gondek EDC if it wasn't for Jake at Uncommon EDC so go to Uncommon EDC check out his stuff that he has on there he's got a lot of reviews and just uh, general information about different kinds of EDC stuff, different companies, um, which is really cool because, you know, it's good to find out information from other people that know. Like, I didn't know about all these companies, so um, him, he helped me out. Uh, he was on there showing uh, the Hank of the Month Club, which I actually signed up for, and that led me to, you know, go on Gondek, check out what they got, saw the EDC pouch, said, hey, you know, that's like a pretty minimal size, super cool, something I can use to carry my stuff in when I go away, so... That's how I figured it out. That's how I found out about it. So check it out. Go to Uncommon EDC. Check out his uh, his stuff. Really awesome information on there. Help you out. Like if you need something, he's got it. Logins out or notebooks all the way up the EDC pouches. So super cool information. So check it out. Uncommon EDC. So Gondek uh, EDC. They have lots of stuff. They have pry bars. They have Hanks. They have these pouches. They have Ranger wallets. Uh, and uh, they're a USA company. This is made in the USA. It uh, was made in Wisconsin, so it's all made 100% United States for people that you know that's important to. That's super cool. Um, so yeah, this pouch is four by five, right? So it's not huge, but you can actually um, have it in different fabrics. You can have it made in canvas, or you can have it made in their Hamilton fabric. And I picked the Hamilton fabric because any design that the Hanks have, any one of his Hanks on there, you can make, that's what the pouch is. So I picked the topo pattern. So um, this is the Hamilton fabric uh, topo pattern. This is the medium pouch. It's 4x5. Inside you can have um, added, you know, slots, little pockets, or not. And I did. I added those. So I have two little pockets in here that hold the knives. So if you go to gondekedc.com, all the information for the EDC pouch is on there. Check it out. I'll try to link it uh, into... Uh, the description of this video. So, medium EDC pouch, 4x5, two little uh, slips inside there, little pockets. Super cool. And there's room for other stuff, right? Now, this pouch, or I mean, this patch is from Pull Patch, so this is a totally different company. But that's on pullpatch.com. They have like 12, 1300 different patches. They have hella patches, so check those guys out. Um, that's online. I'll put that on there too, as well, if I can remember what's going on. So, this is not their canvas material, because you can either, like I said, have this made out of canvas or this Hamilton fabric. But this is not um, their Hank material, because their Hank material is microfiber, right? This is um, kind of some kind of canvas. Their, uh, their site actually says that their canvas is like a car jacket, right? So I have a car jacket. So I'm in my, uh, I'm out there in my kitchen, my coat's hanging up, I'm, I'm feeling my pouch, I'm feeling my jacket, I'm going, ah. So this is kind of a lighter. Um, canvas, like linen, almost like duck. I, I don't know if it's like I'd say it was duck, but it's softer than the car jacket, but it's still super heavy duty, like a lighter um, type of canvas or something. I'm not really sure what their Hamilton fabric is made out of, but it's definitely sturdy and uh, it's got great stitching. Um, I did see some uh, reviews where they said, you know, it didn't look that, like the stitching was all that great, but it looks pretty solid to me. Um, it's, it seems pretty sturdy. It's got really good, you know, 
zipper sewn in, YKK. It's got a little lanyard here with it, so that's super cool. Um, I don't see this falling apart anytime soon. So, but anyway, inside, if you open it up, you can put quite a bit of stuff in here. So, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I do have two knives in here. I have a flashlight. I have a smaller microfiber hank in there, and I have a um, a small pocket stone, which is an uh, Arkansas stone. So, check it out. Let's pull this stuff out real quick. So, this is um, a small stone. This is a Dan's whetstone. It's a soft Arkansas stone. Uh, it's pocket stone. It's really small. Um, it's just a touch-up stone because I'm, you know, I'm away. My knives go dull or something, and I'm not going to make them super sharp with this, but I can touch them up. Uh, it says on their website that this is 600 to 800 grit, and these aren't really judged by grit; they're judged by density. But the corresponding grit for this one would be about 6 to 800. And uh, there's uh, soft Arkansas, there's black, there's translucent, and there's hard. Uh, this one is supposedly the most coarse and the best for sharpening. So this is the soft one. So I have that in there. Um, let's see what else we have. I have a coach flashlight. So this is the G22. So this is an extra flashlight because I have the HP1 in my pocket. So this is the G22, so that fit in there. Then I also have this uh, smaller Hank by Ace of Hanks. So this is a 7x7 Hank, but obviously it folds up super small, 3.5 by 3.5. So that fit in there, so that's super cool. And then in the two pockets, as you can see now, really good. There's two pockets there. I have the... Uh, this is a Rough Rider Hedgehog, Rough Rider Reserve Hedgehog is in there, and then I also have the A.G. Russell Lockback Rancher, so I have that in there. So, with all that stuff out of there, um, and this is a 3 by 2 patch, this is Velcro on the back of this, 3 by 2 so you got to get a patch that's 3 by 2 it'll fit on there really good. So, this is, you know, there's quite a bit of space in there, that's all the stuff I got in there, so I have handkerchief, flashlight, whetstone, two knives in the pockets, and I could have fit something else in there, like a small pen, like a pocket pen or something, I just don't have one. So, you know, that's what you got going on there. You can see the two pockets. And you can also have these pockets different colors, if you wish. Um, on the, you know, it says that on their site. I didn't know that, but um, it's, it's cool, whatever. It's, this is a pretty awesome little pouch, great for travel. Um, it does fit in your pocket, so you can pocket carry it if you want. I'm just, I don't, I don't need it to pocket carry. I have the regular stuff that I carry today, so I have... Um, you know, I have this, which is the James brand Carter, so I'm carrying that. I always carry my pen, which is a Parker pen, and then I have the Coast HP1. So that's what I have with me in my pockets. And, uh, um, yeah, then I have my EDC bag. So this is the perfect companion. Put that stuff in there that you need, that you, can't, that you don't want to carry if you're into minimalism, so you don't want to have a lot of stuff in your pockets, right? You want to carry what's necessary. No need to be walking the streets with three knives. It's unnecessary, not cool. <laughs> like you don't say for me anyway. I mean, you do whatever you want, but for me, if somebody who's into minimalism and the concept of minimalism, it's avoiding the unnecessary. So you carry what you need, and you don't need three knives, in my opinion. Anyway, so you can fit, you know, a good amount of stuff in here and bring it with you wherever you're going, and it's a good companion for an EDC bag. So I don't use this as tier one EDC. Uh, it's more of a tier 2 travel EDC that fits in my tier 2 EDC bag. So, super cool though. It's 25 bucks, $5 shipping. And like I said, you can have them put whatever pattern on there that they have for Hanks. So, it's super cool. So, uh, this is a topo pattern, but they have a whole bunch of other, you know, a whole lot of Hanks and a whole bunch of different patterns. So, when you're ordering it, you say what size you want, you know, small, medium, large. It'll ask you if you want pockets in it. Um, the small one has one, po one pocket. The medium and large both have two of different sizes, so these are a certain size. I think it's like uh, two inch wide by three inch long, and so you can get a good size folding knife in there. I mean, this is a four inch knife, and there's room um, because it can stick up above because this, you know, this is a, goes up over it, so that's cool. And then you can uh, also tell them what kind of fabric you want, whether it's the canvas that they have in multi different, you know, there's a bunch of different colors, or if it's one of their Hamilton fabrics, which is you know one of the designs off their Hanks. So you get a chance. Check it out, uh, Gondek EDC, and if you get a chance, check out Uncommon EDC. It's all kinds of information. That's where I found out about Gondek. Because it wasn't for Uncommon EDC, I wouldn't know nothing about these guys. So get on there, check them both out. Go to Pull Patch if you want to get a patch. Uh, but if you're on Pull Patch, uh, they're going to charge you shipping on their actual site, PullPatch.com. If you go on Amazon and you have Prime, you'll get free shipping. They also have a store on there too. So I would advise if you have Prime, go on Amazon, go to Pull Patch. And they have a store, free shipping with Amazon Prime, and you're all set. So check it out. Gondek EDC. These guys are awesome.